So what is going on is what we call gang stalking, right? If you're being gang stalked, right? What that is, is is really spiritual warfare when it all boils down, you know what I'm saying? But it can be many reasons why you're being gang stalked. But you on some type of list and you have people who are, are to observe and report. They observe you. We call I call these monitoring spirits. You see what I'm saying? They observe and report, right? They are part of secret societies, churches, you know, community organizations, community watch groups, watch dog groups, uh, like Masons, and, and uh, then you got people who are involved because of affiliations with sororities, fraternities, stuff like that. Then you have people who are in law enforcement as well. And then they also have law enforcement there to protect them, depending on how, you know, critical your case is, or depending on the, the target. If the target is known to be, you know, this or that, or if they're trying to make the person out to be this or that, and they need the uh, assistance of law enforcement for their, for their protection, they there. You know, some of these are monitoring spirits. This is called gang stalking. It's just monitoring spirits and spiritual warfare. They're agents of Satan. They just keep tabs on you and report back to people higher up, higher up. A lot of these people don't even know that they're working for the, you know, principalities and the evil forces of this world. A lot of people think this is just a job for them. These private investigators and all of that stuff. Like, But that's what this is. It's just gang stalkers. But it's really spiritual warfare, monitoring spirits, mimicking spirits, narcissist spirits, Jezebel spirits, envious spirits, just all these witchcraft people doing stupid shit, you know, trying to get you to destroy yourself. Because they, by law, and by law, by the divine law as well as the law of the land, they can't just outright do something to you. So they try to get you, they put pressure on you, they lie on you, they slander your name, they sabotage relationships, sabotage uh, jobs and opportunities. You know, they put you under a lot of pressure, drive you into a lot of people, they drive them into depression, into addiction, into homelessness. They put a lot of pressure on you until you decide to, you know, do their job for them. You know, that's what it's designed to do. So as long as you, first and foremost, prayer, form a relationship with the Most High, uh, ask Him to reveal Himself to you, and um, ask Him to reveal what's going on, help you understand what it is, help you keep you in your right mind so it don't drive you crazy. Pray for your peace, you know. Pray for the understanding of the wisdom that you're experiencing because this wisdom that you're experiencing can't be read in the book. It's going to be lived. You learn, you're living the lesson right now. You know what I'm saying? If you are indeed someone that's being gang stalked. But again, people end up on these lists for many different reasons. I don't care why they put me on. I don't give a fuck about them people or they protectors or none of them weapons they tried to form that didn't fucking work. And that's why they can't stand me, because they try hard as fuck. And it was more like a pridefulness thing for them. They couldn't just accept the fact that, you know what I'm saying, my anointing shall not be touched. And they kept trying, they kept trying, and they suffering more than I am now. They feel like I'm not suffering enough, given the fact of everything they put me through. I should be broken and defeated by now. You know what I'm saying? I should be hurting and, and all of that by now. but. He put the joy in my heart. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. The, the, the key to this is to remain in prayer. Know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper unless you become the weapon formed against yourself. You know what I'm saying? And um, just know they can't hurt you. You've been given authority over these scorpions and snakes. You know what I'm saying? These monitoring spirits, these evil forces and their principalities and their rulers. They can't touch you. Just keep being great. They gonna stay watching. They never go away. Know that. And just like you have monitoring spirits from Satan, you have witnesses from heaven observing the whole thing. And your protectors, your guardian angels, your spiritual family, they all are.
watching. That's why I say be kind to one another because you never know if you're entertaining an angel. Real talk. So don't worry. Don't have, have no fear. They operate in your fear. They want you to be afraid because they know that they actually can't do shit to you. So they need you to be afraid and fear that they can. Don't fear these bitches. Fuck them. You know, so these are ultimate coward ass bitches. Excuse my language. But they not to be feared. They are cowards. They need a bunch of people. They draw. They only come in a large number. Right? And they think this make them tough like some heroes or some shit. Fucking cowards. They only come in large numbers. They try to outnumber you. They, and they out. They have weapons. Legally or whatever. They don't fuck with people who they know don't. That's unarmed. They only fuck with people that's unarmed. And then, just in case you do decide that fuck y'all and y'all gun, they still got law enforcement to protect them as well. You know what I'm saying? So they like cowards, bro. Don't even, don't sweat it. But I just told you what it was. If you got any more questions after that, I don't think you need to be asking men. You need to be asking the most time for some more understanding of your situation. But I say that with all, you know, sincerity, humbleness, and just wanting you to understand, this is how I understand my situation. And if you're going through a similar shit, then there you go. Peace and blessings. All praise to the most high. Yeah, I hope that helped you out.